Allah says, when you repent to us, and these are the divine words of Allah, when you repent to us, there are two things. You ask Allah's forgiveness, He forgives you. But you ask Allah's forgiveness again, He forgives you again. You ask Him a third time, He'll forgive you a third time and so on. The mere fact that you are asking the forgiveness of Allah shows that you love Him, you consider Him your Lord, you know He owns heaven and hell, you know He owns forgiveness or punishment, you know that He is the ultimate creator and the supreme deity. So that itself is the worship of Allah. I seek the forgiveness of Allah only if I believe He owns forgiveness. He is Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Wadud, the most forgiving, the most merciful, the most loving, the most kind, the most compassionate. That is my Lord, Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal. So Allah Almighty tells us, if you seek forgiveness, I will forgive you. But there is a step higher than that, which I want to talk about tonight. You want to save your seat in Jannah. Allah says, if after you sought forgiveness of us or from us, you changed your life in a way that you only did good deeds. We will take all the bad deeds you've done in the past and we will convert them into good deeds and put them onto the right side of the scale as though they were good deeds. Yet when they were done, they were bad deeds. Imagine the mercy of Allah. So to achieve that bonus, there are two conditions. The first is seek the forgiveness of Allah. And the second is to do good deeds thereafter. I don't keep sliding back all the time. Amazing verses of Surah Al Furqan. Allah says, The exception, the exception of what? Those who've done bad and they deserve to enter hellfire. Allah says, The exception are those who repent and do good deeds thereafter. They are the ones whose bad deeds will be changed into good deeds for them. For indeed, Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. That's the mercy of Allah. Where do I get this from? The Quran, the divine revelation. Allah Almighty tells you, O oh man, do not lose hope. What have you done? Where have you been? No matter where you've been and what you've done, it's not too late. 